Welcome to Jaco Instruments, the developers of the microwave-induced plasmid capsulation system. We would like to briefly introduce you to the capabilities of microwave-induced plasma, or MIP for short. Specifically, we would like to provide you with a direct comparison between cold acid decapsulation and MIP. Here we see a SEM photo of what was originally a 23 micrometer diameter copper bond wire. Acid decapsulation has reduced the diameter of the copper bond wire by 1.4 micrometers, with severe corrosion visible, making further analysis of the copper bond wires impossible. Thermal stressing of a sample during quality control processes hardens the epoxy molding compound, increasing the difficulty for cold acid to decapsulate the sample. The result is that the copper bond wires are exposed to the acid for a longer period of time during decapsulation, creating inevitable corrosion and damage to the copper bond wires. We will demonstrate the differences between cold acid and MIP decapsulation based on this particular sample type. This sample has palladium coated copper bond wires and the epoxy molding compound is of a type that is acid resistant. The photo shows the sample after being laser ablated but before MIP decapsulation. This photo shows the same sample after 30 minutes of MIP decapsulation. MIP decapsulation has cleanly exposed the palladium coated copper bond wires as well as the silicon dye. The sample is now ready for further analysis. These images show a direct comparison between the palladium coated copper bond wire surfaces of the samples. The cold acid decapsulated samples show visible corrosion on the copper bond wires. The MIP decapsulated sample shows no process induced damage, meaning the sample is now ready for further root cause analysis. These images are taken by SEM, providing us with even closer detail of the palladium coated copper bomb wires decapsulated by cold acid and MIP. The cold acid decapsulated process has damaged the surface features, causing corrosion to the palladium coating and also deeper into the copper wire itself, restricting the certainty of further analysis. By comparison, the MIP sample shows that the decapsulation process has preserved the surface details of the palladium coated copper bomb wire, meaning that no process induced damage has occurred to the sample. The MIP decapsulation process has preserved the original failure sites and contaminants on the sample, enabling an engineer to undertake further analysis to uncover the true root cause with high confidence level and high reproducibility. For more information, please contact JICO Instruments on plus three one six two five two six one six four eight or info at jico instruments dot com. Thank you for your interest in microwave induced plasma decapsulation.